Hello friends, this is Shred Unicorn playing RimWorld and this time I'm coming to you with a guide on caravanning. During this guide I will talk about seven different topics and I will leave thumbnails for them in the video description so if you're looking for something specific just jump ahead. First topic, picking the right people. Second, items such as bedroll medicine. Third, food and food restrictions. Fourth, recreation while caravanning. Fifth, leaving the map, like loading, packing up your caravan. Sixth, how to behave if you arrive at your destination or if you're ambushed. And number seven, arriving back home and unloading. Now, before you go into the world map and form your, actually form your caravan, think about a few things. First, who do you need to come? Are you going to trade? Then you should probably bring your best social pawn. I have the numbers mod installed to make this a bit easier for me. Trade improvement price, uh, 24%, so I'd bring Vasla. If you don't, you maybe you know who your best social pawn is, or you just have to click uh, through everybody here. Mind, if you want to trade with the, the Empire, do remember to bring the person that is a knight or a dame, because otherwise you're standing on their doorstep and they won't talk to you, which has happened to me before and that's quite annoying. Um, second, if you are going to go to an ancient complex where you are looking for a relic, for example, you should bring your best research pawn or a pawn that's good at researching, maybe even two, so you're going to be through faster. Um, because you're going to have to hack terminals and for that you're going to need your best intellectual pawns. Third, you should always, no matter what your target is, bring at least one, probably two people who are really good at fighting, because chances are even a trade caravan will probably well, more often than not, be ambushed and if you can't defend yourself well, that just sucks. Now, after you decided which people you're going to bring, check if you have enough bedrolls, like my normal caravan type, caravan amount is four, and then you need to, if you're going for short trips, it's not that important, but if you're planning a longer track trip or a round trip, I really recommend you have bedrolls for everybody. Uh, the better the bedroll is, the higher your pawn's comfort level will be, and this reduces the risk of mental breaks and trust me you do want to avoid mental breaks on caravans if you can. Now you have you might want to make another bed roll before you even start your caravan. Do that, then check your medicine supplies. Um, the caravan screen automatically selects uh, a certain amount of medicine while you're traveling. I usually if I have enough medicine left at home I usually double that, just in case. And um, yeah, after you decide, after you check this, you can actually start thinking about the food. Now, food is obviously very important on caravans. Obviously, you want to bring packaged survival meals or pemmican if you have any. If you don't and you, the caravan isn't that urgent, I suggest you cook some up before you leave. If you don't have any um, meals that don't spoil and you really need to leave right away because maybe there's a toxic spear, spear you need to take care of, I'd suggest you take raw vegetables because uh, they, they won't spoil, your people won't be happy and um, they might also get food poisoning because they are considered a dangerous food type but the chances are quite low and um, for example this fungus um, okay it's frozen but normally it takes like I think about 30 days to spoil same for rice corn just take raw food and your people should at least not go hungry they might not be happy about it but at least they're not hungry next thing before your caravan even leaves and before you actually go into the caravan screen food restrictions uh, you go into the assign tab and I actually have a specific food restriction for caravanning. I call it travel food, you can call it whatever you want, in, in which I allow meals, all meals and pemmican. That's it. If you know you're leaving your base without any meals, like you have to take corn because you're in a hurry, hurry or rice, you will need to check raw food of course. But that's it, that's what I do. So what I do then is before I leave the map, I will set those people I want to take 
on travel food so they will have the right food restriction because I am not sure if you can change the food restrictions while they are traveling. Now another thing a lot of people think about is um, the amount of food. Now if you start your caravan and you form a caravan you pick a sel select a location you select your four pawns yes I wanted to bring Vasla sure and you select your caravan animals like my three donkeys here the game automatically packs your food and items like your travel surprise supplies don't I always leave this on because they automatically pet the, pack the bed rolls and that's okay but don't take this off you don't need the hay because the animals are able to graze well you should check if they are able to graze but if they are don't take any hay they for some reason take the fine meals but not the packaged survival meals i don't know why so um if i like here don't have uh, very many packaged survival meals i'm going to put as much fine meals as i can before they spoil if you have enough supplies you can just take all your meals and your pawns at home home will cook um, new ones if you don't well you need to be more careful um if the food will spoil before you reach your destination it will say it here in this instance it doesn't because it's winter and the food will stay fro frozen because it's cold on the way so yeah um bear that in mind in the summer make sure you heed the warning if it says up here I always take all package survival meals actually, no matter how many I have. If I have 200, I take 200. Um, you can never have too much food in a caravan. Things happen, it might get stuck and I would never ever start a caver caravan with just the amount of food the game recommends because I have run out of food quite a few times on my caravans and there's nothing more depressing than watching your pawn st slowly starve to death with nothing you can do about it. So for the amount of food, take as much as you can. Especially the package survival meals, I love to use those. Even if I have 200, let's say I go on a trade run, I have 200 survive package survival meals and I really, really, really want a certain side train or I do not have enough silver. But the survival meals are worth quite a lot of silver, so I might actually be able to buy that side trainer selling my meals i will do it i won't sell all of them because i have to get back but i will for some reason the game also did not pick any medicine so i'm taking four pawns i'm going to take um four herbal medicine and also because i have enough for regular medicine because if on the way somebody gets a flu or something i want to be tr able to treat that right away with the right right medicine so this is how I choose the food to take with me on a caravan. Next thing you're going to face is recreation. Every pawn has needs and part of this needs is the recreation need. There are different recreation types. The higher the um, wealth of the colony, the higher the expectations of the pawns, the more different recreation types they expect from you. Obviously a lot of those you cannot fulfill while caravanning, which means that if you take a round trip or a long caravan, your pawn's recreation bar will drop and drop and drop and they will get uh, negatives from being recreation deprived, which you want to avoid if possible. On a caravan there are two and a half ways, <laughs> the half I will explain later, well actually two ways you can prepare for it, let's put it like that. The first is food and the second is drugs. There are two food types that give you recreation. Those are chocolate and insect jelly. Now you might not always have these handy, of course, but if you go around trading or something, um, I keep, out my, keep my eyes out for some chocolate if you do a lot of caravanning and try to always keep some on hand because if your pawns can get your their hands on some chocolate while traveling it'll go it's going to help avoid mental breaks and 
Insects jelly, yeah, well, I'm playing in a mountain base, so yeah, infestations happen. And I really, really love myself some insect jelly. So I try to not sell it, but keep it. I know it's quite expensive and it will increase your colony wealth, so you should maybe uh, sell insect jelly above a certain level. But um, for caravanning, having some insect jelly close uh, in your storage is actually quite a good thing. Okay, so for example, our Kikroidas here has uh, not topped up his recreation for whatever reason. And so I'm going to tell him to consume some chocolate. And you can see his recreation is full again. The uh, In the recreation bar, you can find at, completely at the bottom the uh, recreation type food consumption chocolate. And this will, of course, also work on a caravan. Now I'm going to tell him to consume some insect jelly. Just keep in your eyes on this bar. You can see that this is 100%, while the chocolate was at 99. So the insect jelly is even more effective than the chocolate. Again, for whatever reason, it says food consumption chocolate. This is a new save, so he did not eat any chocolate. Apparently insect jelly counts as chocolate. Whatever. Um, but the insect jelly is, uh, between insect jelly and chocolate, the insect jelly is the one that is more efficient, but it's also, of course, the one that's harder to get. So, But those food types you can use to increase their, your pawn's recreation. I actually recommend, while they are traveling, if you notice that the recreation bar is, going, is getting too low, um, to only then edit their food uh, restriction because you can edit the food restriction quite easily even if your pawns are away. So you might add chocolate first and afterwards you might add the insect jelly or both uh, while they're um, traveling. That's, that works no problem. The second way to keep your people happy is drugs, of course. I only allow a certain types of drugs I only allow beer, Psychite tea, and nowadays, um, because it's an old playthrough, I didn't allow it here, but um, nowadays uh, Ambrosia actually has a safe dose interval, which it didn't have before, um, so I also do allow Ambrosia. Um, I will leave those drug restrictions as they are, but people can't take any drugs if they are not in the caravan, so um, you might think about taking some beer or some Psyche tea or some um, Ambrosia with you. Okay, so after you're done all your preparing, you can actually start to form the caravan. The first thing you may need to make sure of, at least if you want to take animals, is to have a caravan hitching spot. You can find that in the miscellaneous tab. Next you go into the world map, select your town or village or whatever, form caravan, right click on your destination, accept, select the people you changed the food restrictions for, well at least I'd recommend you do, and uh, select the animals you want to take, go into travel supplies, first thing you want to do is to uncheck these and fix everything <laughs> the game did. And then let me just under the items tab load up the caravan, remember to bring some psychi tea, I don't think we have any beer. Oh, we do. So bring some beer then. So as you can see, caravan is full. I recommend to not do that because it will make the caravan pretty slow. But for um, this purpose, which uh, is intended to show you the packing speed or uh, the loading speed, um, I will fill it, fill it to the brink. But you can see, for example, if I take off some of the if I take off some of the wood and the silver, um, the movement speed increases. So um, I do recommend not to fill the caravan to capacity because the longer your people are um, on their way, the more bad things can happen to them. Okay, let's hit send and then see how long it's going to take them to actually pack everything up and leave. I zoom in on the hitching spot a bit. Um, we have 1800 right now, so that's 
those four are going to start packing, the others are going to go about their own jobs um, and just ignore the packing around them. So let's go! And off they are. We have zero o'clock, so it took them six hours to get ready. That's okay. That's not that bad, actually. But this is not a huge caravan, so yeah, fine. Now let's do something a little bit different. Instead of putting the hitching spot close to the pen, how about we're going to put it close to the place where we keep our stuff and then we go to the world map and form our caravan again i filled the caravan to capacity again don't do that if you don't have to and we're hitting send and then we're going to see what happens 1800 let's go and off they are we save one hour just by moving our hitching spot. That's great. The bigger the caravan is, the higher the difference is going to be doing something like that. So we're going to do this one last time. Um, put the hitching spot inside our storage area. The only downside is you may need to clean later. And then from the caravan, told them to pack the exact same things and send. Um, but this time we're doing a little, another little thing differently than before. We're going to shift left click, hold, crank it up on everybody. I leave it like that so I can remove, uh, reduce it later so my research is to research and not hauling. But for now, I want everybody to prioritize hauling above everything else. We've got 1800 and let's go! And we have 2200 and we're off! That's two thirds of the time and the first time I showed you. And I think this is very impressive that with some little tweaking like um, like moving your hitching spot and having everybody pitch in, um, you can save so much of your packing time. Uh, if you have a very large caravan that of course stacks. So yeah, this is my way. Just make sure that afterwards you decrease hauling again on everybody and well, maybe clean up a bit. <laughs> but that shouldn't, that's well worth it in my opinion, considering the time it took to pack them this time. Now, after your caravan formed on the world map, map I um, really recommend you doing the following. Um, select your caravan and as you can see, they will be moving to the engine complex and let them stop on the way tile on the tile before. Um, this way you decide at what time they are going to enter this tile, especially if you are going to go on to a fighting destination, um, you can choose the time uh, at which your people are the healthiest and have just had their meal and the rest stopped up to actually start the fighting. Um, you want that, you do not want to I don't know, be in the middle of the combat, totally have forgotten about your caravan and then your caravan arrives at the destination and then suddenly you have two fights on your hands. So in order to avoid that, I really recommend um, making them stop on the tile before they uh, enter where they want, where you want them to go. Um, well, except maybe if you're a person who tends to forget about their caravans, uh, then uh, don't. Once your caravan arrived, um, you will get the caravan idol on the side and then you can take a look at your people's needs, like they are all hungry, um, they might need some rest and we have just started, just got dark, so I actually will wait some time until those people uh, ate something 
Um, I will start slowly moving towards the ancient complex. You can rest, you can pause them right before they get there because it says it takes will take 0.2 days. So let's move, let's inch towards it and see if people are actually eating before. There they are, before we reach it. And then we're going to, yeah, enter the complex. I will not wait for the rest meter here. If you are a normal daytime colony, I suggest you you do that. But my people are better fighters, fighters during the night and I will use that. Once you reach your complex, um, you will get the caravan arrived. You can jump to the location and it will zoom in. You can switch between two locations easily by just clicking a pawn in the specific location you want to be. I prefer to hitch my animals. You don't have to, they won't run away. Make sure you make the hitching post within this. You can't make it as close to the map, but I will mostly place it right where I entered and tell people to handle and tell people to um, rope the animals towards the um, hitching post so they don't run away. We have a ma mare at home. Don't care. Um, there they go, and after you secured your animals, you can start, well, exploring. But this is not the reason for this um, guide, so I'll see you in a bit. Now, on a caravan map, you can usually go to the world map and say reform caravan. If that doesn't work, that means that there are some enemies in the area, because you may be triggered on or because maybe you were ambushed. So, as soon as that happens, there will appear a light green line at the edge of the map, which means that you will actually be able to leave that map if the fight is a number too high for you, if you can't handle it. So, let me show you. I will move my people to the closest area here. Now, as you can see, this person is... Um, trying to, to attack us and we are just pretending we can't handle him right now. So we are moving to the edge of the map and um, once we reach the first person reaches it, it's gone. Second, third, fourth. Caravan has been reformed and it, it will even take the animals with them. That only applies if there is no human left on the map. Okay, so if you have one human left on the map, the animals will stay there. As soon as all humans are off this map, the animals will reappear with your caravan. Now let's say your pawn got down, but you really need to leave because it's a fight you can't win. Even in vanilla, you can tell Concroidus to carry Senra. And maybe you've asked Lot to pick up a weapon or something, but if you're really in a hurry, you can tell them to pick up a pawn and run with this pawn to the edge of the map. So nobody needs to be left behind. They will be slower, of course, because they are um, carrying somebody. Like you might have somebody else to cover their back for the retreat. But as you can see, even Cancroitus with injured Sandra will make it off the map. We have everybody here, all people and the animals. So that's how you leave a map if you do or if you're in over your head. Now let's say the area is safe, but it also says some unexplored rooms remain. So um, you can reform the caravan now on the world map. But, but on the loading screen only those things will appear that you actually found. So whatever is in those empty rooms here will not appear and you can't pack those. Okay, so, but before you reform your caravan, even if you have been ambushed, just check out your pawns, how they are, like, they need recreation. You could build them a horseshoe pin, like, maybe chop wood real quick. If you have a planter. Just 
Jump some wood. Build a horseshoe pin or a hoopstone ring, depending on what uh, starting colony you were. Set everybody's schedule to recreation, like it's you can see it's three o'clock. Set everybody's schedule to recreation. And tell them to do that. So they will start there, or they are tired. <laughs> so once they slept off the worst of their tiredness, they will actually start upping their recreation, which is good. You want that, right? We do not need pawns with low recreation when we're traveling. So use, use that time. If you're in no hurry, if you got ambushed or something on a trade run, use that time up your recreation meter. Why not? So this is the and a half. <laughs> way of filling up the recreation bar I talked about earlier on in the guide. Now let's actually reform this caravan and then we want to head home. As usual we have this um, packing screen here. We can take the components but the caravan is still pretty full so we're just going to send them off. Everything is packed immediately and people start heading home. So this is uh, what you can do at the um, destination tile and if you're at a tile where there's fighting. Now the next thing you want to do is have your caravan home safely and unload everything efficiently. Now for doing that I recommend actually to forbid the entrance to the pen because then the following will happen. So your caravan arrives back home and what you can see here is that if the entrance to the pen is forbidden they will actually leave the animals right where they are. So make sure you tell them to rope them back home. In this case uh, Abrunio is taking two and then Concroitus will take the last one. So you have to manually tell them it's a bit more micromanagey, but... And as you can see, <coughs> we were on a six-day caravan, so recreation is quite low. Except for Vasla, who topped it up um, really well with the um, hoopstone ring but, and Senra as well, but those two didn't do that. So yeah, they are feeling it. Recreation unfulfilled. So this is a problem the longer your caravan is um, moving. Now what happens if you have your animals here, you know the drill is that people will actually um, be quicker to unload the animals and afterwards you can just unforbid this and take the animals back to their pen where they belong. If you don't do this, what vanilla does is um, vanilla will have your pawns lead the animals to the pen and so they start to unload and move and run and run and these near pawns spend a lot of time walking. Uh, it might even be if you have a set loading very low like I do that well things don't get unloaded for a very long time which can be annoying. I r really actually recommend one small little mod which does only one thing but that one thing is really helpful especially if you have more than three animals on your caravan. What you can do is to drop all the gear, like one, two, three, and if you have a lot of things loaded, this it will take quite some time, but you can see it will drop it right on the spot. But what this mod does is you can just select all animals, like just imagine you have 10 mufflers or something, you select all of them and you, then you say just tell them to drop inventory. Bam. Your people will still need to sort out, for example, that the meals go into the fridge, but everything is where you want it to be. Easy. So this is all the drop all inventory mod does, but um, yeah, it's just so handy if you're caravanning a lot that I can only recommend this, especially if you're playing a raid route theme under the uh, Rimworld ideology. After your people are done unloading, you can just, um, your handlers will take the animals back, back as long as you unforbid the door. And well, this is all I have to say about the caravanning. So if you found that helpful, please leave a like or a comment down below. 
and if you're interested in more of my Rimmel content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and bye!